It is a beautiful Friday night here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, what a better thing to do in Coeur d'Alene on a Friday night than go for a bike ride. Not only to go for a bike ride here in Coeur d'Alene, but to actually go on a bike ride in Coeur d'Alene with a couple real genuine Coeur d'Aleneans. Okay, so we're... <laughs> <laughs> we're I'm going I'm going on a bike ride with uh with Colin and uh Colin and his beautiful wife Holly and we're gonna go and I guess ride a trail and uh ride a trail and maybe go grab a bite to eat. We will uh see as the saying goes. Alright, so as you can see we've reached the uh we've reached the trail and not just any trail, this is the trail of the Coeur d'Alene. It is uh, 79 miles? Yeah. 79 miles. And uh, if you were looking on a map right now of uh, Idaho and you looked uh, east of Coeur d'Alene, you'd see a little city called Cataldo. And that's where we're starting. And I'm not sure which direction we're gonna be heading. But, uh, you know, I got a new bike. And it's not necessarily a trail bike. Well, it's not a trail bike, it's a mountain bike. But, uh, but it'll do just fine on the trail. And the trail is paved. You can see the trail right there. The trail is just beautifully paved. And I've been told that it's uh, rather quite well ma maintained. So it's a gorgeous night. Temperature is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe in the 80s, low 80s. There's a wonderful breeze. There's no, no humidity and uh, Mr. Cole, he's got a uh, he's got a fancy smancy bike here. This is an electric electric bike called a Gazelle, and they've got they've got matching matching bikes here. This is the looks like Gazelle Arroyo Arroyo C8. If my eyesight is serving me well, but it's nice. This is a uh, an electric bike, and uh, apparently they don't. Uh, use the the electric all that often but look at that very very nice and he's got a what i believe is called a pannier p-a-n-n-i-e-r on the back to uh you know put some snacks or whatever so we're going to do about a five mile today we're doing a five mile uh five mile trip i think it'll be 10 miles maybe round trip and uh i think colin went over to the to the little boys room but we'll be on the uh on the way here shortly and we're off trail of the trail of the Coeur d'Alene's you know it's always wonderful when you're when you're uh, on the road and traveling alone to to meet meet new people and uh especially people like Colin and Holly who are uh kind enough to share this experience with me oh this is nice 79 miles of trail look at this you know what I think I'm gonna do is maybe just put my put my camera up on my head and uh, rather than trying to narrate this beautiful ride I'll just let you let you enjoy it with some with some nice music and maybe along the way we'll see some uh, see some animals. Somebody actually living living out here. All right, on we go. All right, so. Look at this beautiful bridge. And Holly was just saying that uh, Colin will usually stop on the bridge, look for fish. <laughs> Colin is uh, quite the fisherman. See any fish down there, mate? Huh? No. Look at this. The, uh, another month and a half. Mid to late October, sometimes you can come here and watch the salmon. Yeah, wow. Boy, it's beautiful. Look at this over here. Actually, looks like there's a 
small campground. Boy, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's beautiful. We have found our way just up the trail to Gap Rock Wayside. Rocky roads. The rocks at this site are known locally as the Burke Revit Formation. Most of the rock is called quartzite, which is tan or bluish in color. It's a very hard rock that's easily fractured or broken. The rocks were originally laid down in flat layers, but through geologic time have been lifted and tilted. Look at that. Wow. This is why you see an irregular sloping of rock layers. Most geologists believe rocks along this portion of the trail were formed in a large sedimentary basin 600 to 1500 million years ago. At this time in geological history, mountains were being worn down and the sands were dumped into a shallow sea. Since that time, heat and pressure have changed the sands into sandstone and finally quartzite. Look at that. Wow. Folks, this is, this is probably the nicest bike trail that I've ever been on in my life. This is really, really something else. 79 miles of this. Is that incredible or what? And that's one of the wonderful things about having this opportunity at this stage of my life is to, to be able to travel, travel and familiarize myself oh, with I places like the, this. How much higher? Oh, uh, one moment. My mechanic is asking me a question. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, how much higher do you want them, do you think? Well, <laughs> uh, let me, let me, let me, let me finish the, the, the little, I don't, maybe an inch. Maybe an inch. Thank you, sir. All right. So. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Later on, I'll go back and I'll say, it looks like a moron adjusted this bike. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is where the squirrels come down usually. You come, yo, you bring stuff to feed the squirrels? Oh, yeah, peanuts. Are you supposed to do that? Everybody does. Everybody does? Around, they come in. Oh, so they'll come and they'll, the I'll little squirrels. Right Are they like gray squirrels, brown squirrels? They're golden mantle, those little chipmunk looking squirrels. Uh huh. Look at this, folks. This is just. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, here comes one. Uh oh. Here come the. Uh, here come the squirrels. Oh, they're little, they're like little chipmunks, is what they are. Look at this. I don't know if I can, maybe I can set the camera down and they'll, and they'll come and, and get some. It's getting pissed. All right, so these are, uh, what, again? Golden mantle. Golden mantle. Golden mantle squirrels and, uh. Oh, they just, they're, they're delightful. They really are. And they'll come and they'll, they'll off. eat. Went up the hill. They'll eat right out of your, out of your hand here. Wow. Come here. They'll come back. Here, here, comes, here one. comes one. All right. Look at that. <laughs> oh. And Holly's tossing Here me comes, peanuts. Here's another Holly's one. tossing me peanuts like I'm a squirrel. <laughs> Look at this. Oh boy. I bet one. Sue Smith. I bet Sue Smith in the villages is just really, really enjoying this. Oh, this is this is too much. But as I was saying, you know, when you're when you have the opportunity such as I do to travel and to familiarize you, yourself with places as magical and special as this. It really makes it hard to decide you where go. you want to ultimately call home. Now here comes one. Let's see if I can... Okay, there he... Oh, what are you he's, doing? He's jumping. He's acrobatic. Oh yeah, he's jumping. He wants that. 
Huh? Come here. Come here. You, oh. Okay. All right. Come on. They'll eat that I'll, up. I'll they? give it to you. I'll give it to you this time. Come on. I'll give it to you. Here you go. There you go. There. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Huh? You like that, don't you? No, I don't have any more. Here's the other penis. Huh? This is the last one. It's not in the shell. Okay. The last one. Boy, here you go. Come here. Look at this. This is pretty tame. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on over here. There you go. No, I don't. It's right here. It's right here. There you go. Uh, you didn't see you drop it. You didn't see I don't, you drop it. It's the wrong color. I dropped it. Here. Put it inside of a little piece of shell. There you oh, go. Here comes the other one. So Just hand it to him. He'll take it right out of your hand. Holly said put it inside one of the empty shells. There you go. <laughs> oh, he thinks there's more. Oh, you see? Now we're out. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, folks. Time to go. <laughs> what a delightful show all right i'm with the tour boy just up ahead was this face of rock and i thought i'd stop and share it with you and you might appreciate it as much as as i have look at that just beautiful what a magical place Really, really a magical, magical place. Boy, folks, you talk about heaven on earth. Look at this. All the while that we've been driving, or riding, I should say, the trail of the Coeur d'Alene, you look off to the left of the trail or to the right of the trail, and sometimes you'll see a, an RV just in and by itself, just parked along the, the river, or here you'll see... Oh, I see several RVs, and it's gorgeous. It's just actually beyond, it's beyond words. It's just gorgeous. Talk about peace and serenity. And there's the uh, stars and stripes above one of the, uh, the campers down there. All right, so we're almost to this famous, uh, famous restaurant where Colin's going to take me. So, uh, Colin and Holly, I should say. So, on with the ride. And we've reached, we've reached our destination. We probably rode the better part of, oh, four or five miles, I would imagine. And here is one of numerous parking areas that you can get along the 70 mile 79 mile route of the trail of the Coeur d'Alene oh look at this and here would be a here would be a map look at that rail trail of the Coeur d'Alene's Mining in the Silver Valley near Kellogg began in 1984. Construction of the rail line to support the mining and timber industry started in 1888. Mine waste rock and tailings contained heavy metals and common practice at the time was to release the waste into the environment or use it as fill, such as for the rail bed. The rail bed was also contaminated with accidental ore concentrate spillage. Well, you can read up on this online, I'm sure. I don't have to read the whole thing for you. But you can see up there, we are right up there. And next week, I'll be staying right down in the corner left. And I'll be able to do a good fair amount of this trail. I'm starting down by uh, Plummer, Idaho. All right, yeah, on, with the, uh, on with the dinner time. I, <laughs> Good old uh, Colin, he's been really pushing us to get there because he wants to get the early bird special. Being a <laughs> being a senior citizen, yeah, he keeps telling me that 
you know the early bird the early special bird. ends at, at ends at six o'clock <laughs> you know we got to get there before the early bird special is over right but uh, <laughs> you seniors are all the same so. <laughs> all right here we are we have made it made it to the snake pit and something tells me this is probably a place that would warrant a video in and by itself look at this Annanville Resort families welcome the snake pit since 1880 rustic atmosphere look at that wow <laughs> what a treat what an absolute treat oh this is going to be wonderful since 1880 it's almost as old as Skip Smith. Boy, talk about the the cat days of summer. Oh wait, no, that's the dog days of summer. But uh, look at this. Look at this cat. Just kind of chilling out, enjoying a little shade on the on the patio of the snake pit. Wow, just oblivious. Oblivious to everyone around them. Boy, look at this entrance. Talk about, talk about first impressions. Absolutely incredible. 1881 was when this was uh, was first opened. Oh goodness! And it's probably, I think I hear some music inside. So we'll go inside and check it out. Look at the look at the porch. It's just beautiful. Really, really is something else. Wow. Look at that. Boy, what a wonderful place. Just fantastic. So, we'll mosey on inside. It's probably pretty busy being a Friday night. Look at this. a souvenir incredible absolutely incredible and all the all the dollars up on the ceiling wow. incredible really there's the bar boy if these bar stools could talk Stale beer, cheap whiskey, lousy service, and the best damn steaks in the West. Wrong side of the tracks, Highway 34. Look at that. Look at that knife collection. Sword. It's a weapon collection, I should say. Somebody's having a somebody's having a birthday. Well, there is 
your uh, there is your Rocky Mountain oyster right there. Look at that. That's I uh, you, in, in case you're wondering where the where the shell is. Oh boy, I don't know. Rocky Mountain. This is cocktail sauce. Okay. okay. A lot of people eat it with cocktail sauce or spicy tartar or regular tartar. And then I brought the extra tartar for her fish and chips. Where's the shell? <laughs> I've never seen an oyster without a shell. <laughs> That's cow balls. That's a what? Cow balls. A co a co a co That's a cow... That's a cow ball? Oh my goodness. Alright. So we're gonna get... We're gonna... Get, Colin said that he's gonna go first. Okay. Colin is gonna have the. Uh, what's it look like? It looks like a ball that's been hit with a hammer. Hey, you can't say that on YouTube. All right, so here we go. Well, let's see. What am I gonna? What, have? what are you gonna dip it in? Have the spicy tart. Okay. And maybe some cocktail sauce. The spicy tartar, there you go, all right. Spicy tartar. Rocky Mountain Oyster here at the Snake Pit. It's good. Very tasty. Really? Yeah. Wow. You might have to get Holly to make you some of these at home on Sunday for, you know, Sunday dinner. I'm not sure where I buy them. I'm not sure when I talk in a high voice. <laughs> You're not sure where you'd buy them. You go to the butcher, no? And say you want some Rocky Mountain Oysters. Have you seen a butcher shop lately? No. Are they, is it good? Yeah. Are you going to try You're going to try one? All right, I'll try one as well. All right, so Holly, what, what do you think? Is it good? Rocky Mountain. No? Alright, so here we go. Here we go. My my first th this is my first Rocky Mountain oyster. So, <laughs> what a dinner. What an incredible dinner. Oh my goodness. If you're ever in, uh, I don't know where this is. If you're ever in Idaho. Enaville. I'm sorry? Enaville. E e Enaville. Ena Enaville. Okay, if you're ever in Enaville, you got to come here and, uh, well, you got to come here and get one of these t-shirts. That's right. Look at they, this wonderful couple. They... They got me this T-shirt, and you got to see the back. If uh, maybe Colin will hold the camera there and show you the back. I had a ball at the snake pit. There you go. And I did. I literally had a ball. So, all right, folks. Uh, we got to get back. The sun's starting to go down, and uh, I don't know if we have lights. All right. So let's uh, let's go boy could you have asked for a nicer evening i mean really we're finding our way back to the uh <laughs> we're finding our way back to the truck and now we got the better part of a 45 minute ride back to back to uh Coeur d'Alene but uh wow this is one of the experiences 
that you have when you're traveling that you just never forget kind of like kind of like jetty jumping you know down in Australia or parasailing the Alps in Italy you know riding the uh, riding the trail of the Cord trail of Cordeline here in uh, beautiful Idaho with such a wonderful couple you know they got me this shirt oh goodness gracious bless their heart all right folks hope you enjoyed the uh, hope you enjoyed the evening as much as I did.